Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about the Pipsin Rubber Inha Moon Speed No. 53 Euro M Plus with a 2.0 mm sponge thickness. This is a brief preliminary review made in haste so that you can watch it quickly. The full review will be released shortly. I need to gather my thoughts, analyze my impressions, and describe this rubber as accurately as possible, so that you, our dear viewers, can understand and choose correctly whether this rubber will be suitable and who should not choose it. I want to say right away that this moon speed turned out to be incompatible with my playing style and technique. On the one hand, the rubber turned out to be excellent. On the other hand, unfortunately, I cannot fully demonstrate its capabilities to you. Because I am a player with a combination style using long pimples. I cannot make many topspins, run back and forth quickly, and attack. It turned out that this moon speed is specifically for that. Moreover, in my opinion, this rubber is intended for players who not only like an attacking style of play with topspins, but specifically a forceful, powerful attacking style. That is, if you like to attack powerfully as often as possible, then this rubber is specifically for you. I am unable to demonstrate its power and cannot illustrate a series of powerful attacks. I cannot do that. But the potential in this rubber is felt, it is very powerful. And an important point. To fully realize its power and spin, you need to have a decent technique. That is, this rubber is for players who already have at least a good technique and a level of play not lower than intermediate amateur. The fact that I hit the table well in the video does not mean that I can handle this rubber. In fact, there were a huge number of shots off the table and plenty of swearing behind the scenes. I have tried many rubbers and learned to adapt quickly to any rubber, regardless of its type and properties. But with this moon speed, it was especially difficult for me. I was irritated and swore, I wanted to take off the rubber and throw it away. It was too fast, and therefore, during the first three hours of play, I missed 50% of the time, and it seemed to me that this would not change. But in the end, I was able to adapt to some extent. The sensations changed, and I realized that the control of this rubber for such speed is excellent, better than that of European tensors. You can even enjoy playing short games with it. In general, the rubber turned out to be decent. Fans of an aggressive style of play will be satisfied. In the near future, we will make a review in which we will describe the properties of this rubber in detail. And perhaps the detailed review is already published when you are watching this video. By the way, do not be lazy, like this video. It would be nice to do it right now and visit our store more often for shopping while we are making quality reviews for you.